In class, it's not so bad. But when school's out and the others go off to enjoy themselves, well, if you're what they call a shy guy, that's when you really feel it. The loneliness of being new in town. You don't know how to make people like you, and you find yourself holding a grudge against them. You're standing on the outside looking in. You might have something to contribute to their conversation, but nobody cares whether you do or not. There's a barrier, and you don't know how to begin breaking it down. You imagine they keep watching the way you look, the way you act. They think you're different. So, you head for home. What else? But still, you can't forget that you're alone, an outsider. Hello, Phil. How's everything? Oh, okay, I guess, Dad. Your record transmitter and microphone coming. Oh, all right, I guess. I know it isn't either. I can't figure out where to connect in the oscillator. I know I have to connect it into the amplifier, but where? It just doesn't fit in. Why not the store and get more information? And by the way, how are things going in school? Oh, okay, Dad. But school here isn't like it was back in Morristown. Well, you know, son, maybe school is like your radio. This oscillator will do its work well. But as you said, you still have to fit it in so it can work with all the other parts. I know what you're driving at, Dad, but I don't think I ever will fit in, not here. I'm different from the guys in this town. Well, as far as that goes, Phil, everybody's different. That's what makes people interesting. Maybe. You know, when we moved here this summer, I had quite a time making friends in a new office where everybody else knew each other. What'd you do, Dad? Well, that's beside the point, son. What works for one doesn't necessarily work for another. But I bet the other men didn't look at your clothes all the time. Well, what makes you think they look at your clothes? Oh, because the other fellas wear sweaters or just shirts, not a regular suit like mine. Well, wear a sweater then. But clothes alone won't... Phil, what about the other fellows? What do they do? What do they like? Gosh, Dad, I don't know. I never noticed. Only I know it's not radios. Perhaps that's the reason you don't know. You don't notice what the others are interested in. Why not try to find out? How, Dad? Well, you might try watching, listening. Pick out the most popular boys and girls in school and keep an eye on them. Try to figure out why people like them. Not that you'll ever be just like any of them, but you might learn something. Well, see you at dinner. Well, there's an idea. Maybe a good idea. Worth a try, anyway. And tomorrow's not too soon to start. Pick out the most popular boys and girls in school and keep an eye on them. Who are they now? Some of them are right here in this class. Andy McIntyre, for instance. People like him, all right. Chick Gallagher rates high in popularity, too. There's Jane Davenport. She's popular with boys and girls. And Jack Gilbert. What's he got that makes people like him so much? Andy's got something to say and Jack's listening. He really seems interested. Come to think of it, Jack's always interested in what people are talking about. Maybe that's why he hits it off so well with everybody. Anyhow, Andy thinks he's a great guy. No, that's too easy, just listening. But what's this? Sounds like Jane's caught on to the same thing. She's listening. Hearing about Helen's collection of menus and liking it. That makes her kingpin with Helen. Maybe there is something in this business of being a good listener. But still, there must be more to getting along with people than just wearing a sweater and listening.
What's the matter, Bob? Handle stuck? Yeah, I can't get it open. Oh, here, let me try. It's a trick to some of these. There. Gee, thanks a lot, Chick. Now, why didn't you think of that? Chick's always doing things for people. And it pays off in friends. Boy, that sure is one tough history assignment we have for Friday. Wish I could find some good outside reading material. I found a swell book that covers everything Miss Carson wants us to know. It's called The uh, Last Days of Monarchism by Henry Darrow. You can get it at the library. I'm sure glad you told me about it. I'll get it this afternoon. Thanks a lot, Bob. It's okay, Chick. You dope. You knew about that book. You could have been the guy that helped the guy. There it is again. Even when you bump into people, they hardly know you're alive. You're alone, bud. Alone in the crowd. But keep looking around. Try to find out what the score is. Look at Jack and Beezy over there. Girls seem to like them. Why? What's the angle? They do act kind of polite. At least they seat the girls and give their orders to the waiter. They aren't loud like some of the guys. Cherry Coke, chocolate Coke, milkshake, and mullet. Double chocolate mullet. Right. Okay, I got it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Choose it, please. I've got the orders from my table. Uh, just help me out during rush hour, Bob. Gee, thanks a lot, Chick. That's swell. Okay, Bob. Hey, girl. There's Chick being helpful again. I can't quite decide. Why don't you really have a white stripe dress with me, Chick? I love the way it's made. Hey, don't tell me you two are still talking clothes. Was this a plot to squelch all males present? <laughs> Phil, sit down. Make yourself at home. Oh, Chick, are you? Pretty good. Come on, sit down. Hello, everybody. Okay. We men need some support to run down this girlish chatter. Hey, you want them all, don't you? Yo, Bob. The topic in our discussion is the mixer next Friday night at school. You're going, aren't you? I don't know, Chick. Uh, I haven't got a date yet. Well, grab yourself a girl and come along. It's not going to be a real party. Just the class getting together for some fun. I'd like to, Chick. Yeah, I sure would. Yeah, sure would be something to take Mary Lou to the mixer. Wonder if she already has a date. Well, how's the oscillator coming along? Hi, Dad. Oh, I haven't quite got it working yet. But, you know that other business we were talking about? Oh, well, I've been following your advice. How about it? Find out anything? Yeah, Dad, I think I did. It looks like people who get along best with other people are, well, the people who think about the other guy. They make a point of listening to what others have to say and watching for ways to do things for them, being polite toward them. Do you suppose it's sort of a case of thinking so much about other people that you don't have much time to tell? Well, perhaps that's right. Maybe the best way to find out is to try it next chance you get. You know, Dad, there's a mixer Friday night I uh, wasn't going to go, but in the drugstore the other day, Chick said I ought to come. Good idea, Phil. Well, Dad, there is a girl I'd like to take, Mary Lou Wright. But I'm not sure she'd go with me. Never even talked to her. I'd probably fall all over myself. Besides, she's popular. She's probably got a date by now. Well, it is pretty late to ask a girl. Why don't you just go stag? You needn't worry about doing anything wrong, Phil. You act all right. Just do and say whatever seems most natural. Well, Dad, maybe... Maybe it will be easier after I've had a chance to talk to her at the mixer. <laughs> you know what? I kind of think this is going to fit in after all.
girl. This is it. Sink or swim. Uh-oh, there's Mary Lou. She did come with another guy. Beezy Barnes. What now? Piano game. Look at Beezy, listening first to one boy, then another. It's funny the way people flock around a good listener. But what's this? They're talking about radios. It's right down your alley. They're asking Beezy about any stock. You know the answer to that one. You could tell him. She just a butt in. Beezy's still stuck. He really needs help. Help? That's it. An offer of help. That's welcome anywhere. It's not hard to fit yourself into a conversation. A mention of a similar problem in connection with the record player. They are interested in that record player. They are interested in that shy guy. They know he's alive now. And strangely enough, he's just discovered that they're alive. Of course they'd like to see the record player. Of course they'll come over. Tomorrow afternoon. I just have to do a little more soldering and connect the oscillator into the amplifier and everything will fit in. Oh, Phil, could you have it ready by next week and bring it over to my house? I guess so. Some of the gang's coming over Thursday night and we could have a lot of fun with it. You will come, won't you? Well, one shy guy is on his way. Not that his worries are over. He'll still have his moments of doubt, of hesitation, of fear that he might do something wrong. But he can face these problems now because he knows that he's not really different. And while he's discovered only a few of many ways to overcome shyness, he's discovered that it can be done. And that's the main thing, isn't it?